In this episode of 5 Things, Tips That You Can Use For Your RV, we start off with a power failure alarm. And in the last 5 years, between RV trips, we store the RV in the front driveway. And we run a power cable to the RV to keep the batteries charged and the refrigerator going and so on. And I've never had a problem with that. But just a couple of weeks ago, when we closed the garage door, we pulled the power cable out of the socket inside of the garage, shutting the power off the RV. And we didn't realize that until about three days later when we came in, the battery is starting to go dead. And so I finally determined we got to do something about this. So I picked up one of these alarms, and they're only around $11, not very expensive at all. And the way they work is you just plug them into a source of AC in the RV. Then there's an on-off switch you turn on, and now you're protected. If AC goes out, the alarm goes off. Now you cannot appreciate how loud this is. I think the manual said it's around 120 decibels, and I mean it is almost hurts your ears, it's so loud. Of course the camera's not going to pick that up like that. But you're going to hear that outside. So if you lose power in your RV, there's no question that that event occurred. And allows you to take care of it. You know, every once in a while you come across a product that just seems to work, and that's the case with these caulk caps. And they just are used to cap off your caulking. And the nice thing is, they have this little pin that goes through the center so it doesn't allow the inside to dry out. And previously, I tried one of these red caps, and they're just a little piece of rubber that goes over the end. And I have one here like this, but I found they don't work. The, the caulking still dries out. And I used this about a month ago, and I brought it out, and it still was able to use the rest of it. Well, this next tip is something that I never thought I'd have to do, but when I look at the various RV forums, this seems to be a question that pops up quite frequently, or at least more than it should. And that is removing a piece of, quote, cardboard from your microwave. These are just standard household microwaves, and I can't imagine why it would be a difference for people that have an RV than what a typical homeowner do, but maybe homeowners do it too. Anyway, what you're talking about is this little piece right here. And some people think it's packing material, and they remove it and toss it. Well, it is neither packing material nor cardboard. It's actually a form of mica and it's a protector that protects the magnetron and the other electronics in your microwave from getting food splatters as well as steam and grease and things thrown up into the magnetron and the electronics which if allowed to happen will shorten the life of the microwave and I suppose could be dangerous because it could also help maybe catch fire I don't know but anyway it is not a piece of cardboard that you should be removing well, just the other day, my wife was kind of complaining about not being able to see in the closets. I decided that an easy fix would be to find some of these little cordless puck lights like you see here. And not everything needs to be wired, you know, strictly to 12 volts. You know, you can battery operate some things like these are. And I have two different styles. This was a set of five, and it is a push-on, push-off light. This is a set of three, and it is a motion detection light. However, the motion detection only works if it's relatively dark. So in the daytime here with the camera lights on and things, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this. But in the nighttime, if it detects motion, then it'll turn on. And in both cases, they do have a self-adhesive base. Whereas this one is also magnetic. Which actually makes it easier to replace the batteries. This one... Uh, you have to kind of leave the base on as you twist the top off to replace the battery. So, you know, it's not too bad either way. I think I'm going to put this in her closets, in her clothing closets. And I think I'm going to put these, or a couple of them, the cabinets near the stove where we keep, you know, some dry goods and things. There we go. In the daytime, it's too bright in there, even though it doesn't show up on the camera. Unless I open one of the other cabinets, but there you go. Uh, the light turns on when it detects motion when I put my hand in there. And for the puck lights with the switch, I just installed one in the top of this cabinet. And there we go. 
you know, if you're camping, sooner or later you're going to get a burn, whether it's over a stove or a grill or a fireplace or whatever. And we found that this stuff is by far the best burn aid. And it's made from a company called Aruba Aloe. And it's actually made in Aruba. And we found out about it when we were on a cruise to Aruba. We stopped in the store and bought some. And I can vouch for this because recently I managed to pour a whole pan full of bacon grease on my arm. I put the stuff on it immediately. No redness, no blustering, nothing. I mean, it was almost a miracle. And, you know, I don't go for that kind of malarkey usually, you know, when people make those statements. But I tell you, this stuff really worked. And even though it's made in Aruba, you can mail order it if you live in the U.S. because they do have a warehouse in Miami. And if you are interested in the five things a series, I have a web page that has all of the past episodes as well as all the sources where I found all these items. And I'll post a link here so you can go directly to that web page.